Welcome to Roundabout Oxford. Today's clip features Greg Johnson and Alex Watson talking about music materials available outside the physical library here on campus. What are some fun things that somebody who is unable to come into the library could experience from the Blues Collection right now? Right now, some of the easiest things that people can access remotely are a number of blues posters and photographs and um, some interviews with some blues musicians that are available through eGrove, uh, the institutional repository for the University of Mississippi. One thing that's a bit problematic for folks trying to access material uh, online is that the majority of the audio in our collections is still copyright controlled and uh, we can't just put it up there for anyone to access. So uh, there are some collections, the uh, Matthew Joseph collection and the uh, North Mississippi uh, Music Project uh, that we have up that have a number of interviews with blues and uh, other musicians around North Mississippi and particularly in uh, Lafayette County. And those interviews, those are with actual blues musicians? Yes. Uh, one of these collections, the Matthew Joseph collection, uh, was done by an intern uh, who worked two summers uh, here with us in the Blues Archive, and he was doing his research on North Mississippi Hill Country Blues, so he went all over uh, the northern part of the state interviewing uh, various musicians um, from the Hill Country tradition, but also interviewing scholars and people that have done a lot of research about Hill Country Blues or have worked in uh, the music industry. So he did uh, all of these interviews uh, for us and got permissions from the artist uh, for us to be able to use all of those interviews however we see fit. To hear more from this episode, visit our YouTube channel and check out episode one. Thanks for listening.